Okay, hello and welcome back to my Frisbee channel. My name is Ryan and I've got a long forehand throwing video technique which I will link to below. And a number of you guys have talked about or asked the question on how to transition from that sideways stance where you're just kind of isolating this motion here and throwing a vertical kind of throw like that. How do you transition from that sideways stance to something that's more practical in game where you're facing straight up field, stepping out to the side and throwing a more realistic forehand. And the best advice I have for you is to start from the sideways position as shown in that training video, which I'll link to below, and incrementally increase the angle of your uh, front foot. So for me, that's gonna be my left foot, and I'll change it to maybe 45 degrees. I'll continue to throw that straight on um, vertical forehand as in the, the drill video. And if I can successfully do that at 45 degrees, then I might increase it to 90 degrees. So from here to here to here, and you can see that my, my arm is still staying open. So by that I mean I'm not letting my my arm turn over as I open up. So the, uh, the idea behind the throwing drill is that it makes it really easy to keep your wrist and palm rotated this way because your upper body is also facing in that direction. So keeping the disc like that is quite simple. And then as we open up our stance, you can see how I'm, I'm still keeping the arm open like that. I'm keeping my, my palm kind of facing away from my body kind of like that with the disc in it. So I would say that if you're trying to transition from the drill forehand to an in-game forehand, I would start like that. I'm still throwing quite close to my hip in the early stages of that transition. So I'm still throwing straight close to my body, 45 degrees close to my body, 90 degrees. I'm still trying to throw close to my body. I'm still trying to keep the disc coming out quite vertically. And then if you can master that, then you can start to bring your hand and, your, and your, uh, your arm, you can start to bring that away from your body. And as you bring it away from your body, now you're gonna have to focus on that elbow being out front nicely. Because as your elbow comes back, your arm is gonna turn in, which is not what you want. You don't want the, the disc turning over in your, in your positioning. You want that elbow as it comes away from the body, that elbow has to come up front and your hips might have to come forward a little bit to achieve that, that angle on the disc. So we'll just throw one to show you what I mean by that, where now that the disc is away from my body, I'm also starting to bring my weight kind of back and that's gonna help with in-game style throwing where I have the disc like this, and I can release now around someone who's marking me, and I'm getting that, sh that uh, downward edge on the disc. I'm getting that angle, I'm helping it by bringing my right shoulder down, my elbow forward. I'm trying to keep the disc so that at the end of its flight, it's not trailing off to the left too much, it's actually going to the right. So hopefully that helps you transition from the drill, where you're like this, to 45 where you're still throwing close to your body to a 90 where you're throwing still close to your body and then bringing your your arm out past the mark stand, stepping out tilting your body back hips forward a bit uh, a bit and elbow is coming forward you're still really focusing on keeping your hand rotated outwardly like that during the whole thing if any of that breaks down during the process if you're if you're finding that okay you can do this no problem this works out pretty well but then when you get to here the disc is flopping over in the air bring it back one step back to the 45 and make sure you've got consistent throws at that stage before advancing to the next one because the whole point of all of this is to reduce the variables make sure that you're prioritizing the the spin and flight of the disc at all times and then add in the advanced steps very slowly 
until you have a nice stable spinning disc coming out in a body position that would work in game. Again, if you missed the training video, check out the link in the video description below. Um, if you have any questions, please throw them in the comments and I'll answer whatever I can get to. Thanks guys.